Hi, this is Carrie Gans with Newbie Rewards. That's NewbieRewards.com. Once again, if you've been listening to any of these videos, you got to get over to Newbie Rewards and check out all of our eBooks and our uh, various resources and all of the videos and and all kinds of stuff. But we give you help screens, we give you little videos about programs, and it's just a terrific place for newbies to get every bit of information you need to get your business up and running on the web. Uh, and for you intermediate and uh, advanced users, internet marketers, there's plenty for you there too. Uh, there's free memberships may be available, I'm not even sure. And if not, there's certainly our silver and platinum. And we welcome you. There's no commitment. You don't like us, you can leave. Uh, we can't keep you, then we don't deserve you. Anyway, uh, what I want to show you today is another Twitter application. It's called Twitter Feed. This has changed over the last couple of months, and, um, but it still basically functions the same way as before. And what we're going to do is it's a free account. And what you're going to do here is basically set up an RSS feed from your blog to your Twitter profile, to your Twitter account. So every time you make an entry in your blog, it'll then show up on your Twitter profile, on your Twitter account, Twitter page. You call it whatever you want. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to log in. I've already set up my account. And let's see if I remember what the login is. We're not going to use that. And with a little bit of luck, I'll actually log in. Give it a minute. There we go. Okay, you can see I've set up a bunch of feeds already, but I'm going to show you how to set up a new one. So we're going to go create new feed. And I want to send the feed from my Twitter right blog to my Twitter account on Carrie Gans. So we're just going to wait for it to go to Twitter feed. It's going to take a second here. And we're going to create a new feed to Twitter. Now you also have the option of sending it over to Ping and HelloText, Laconica. I'm going to send it to Twitter. And you can connect. I have to connect now because I'm not connected to my Twitter account. So I'm going to connect. And what it's going to do is ask me to authorize this. Takes a second. Takes longer than a second. There you go. I'm going to allow it. See, it's going to my Twitter account. So I'm going to allow the connection. It'll then take me back to Twitter feed. Okay, I've successfully linked. So I'm all set here. I want to give it a name, so I'm going to call this Twitter Right. Now I need the RSS feed URL. So if you go over to your blog and you look somewhere on your blog, you'll typically see if it's a WordPress blog, you'll see an RSS feed. So this is the feed up here, and it's twitterright.com slash feed. So we're going to go back to Twitter feed and we're going to put in the feed. We're going to put in uh, http colon whack whack so w dot twitter right dot com slash feed. We can test it to see if it's a, if it'll work. It parsed okay. We'll create the feed. That's basically all you have to do. And what it, once again it's going to set up the feed now. So anytime I make a post to Twitter right, it'll automatically update my Twitter page at Carrie Gans on Twitter. So let's just make sure this worked. Give it another second. And if we scroll down, there's Twitter right. It hasn't started. It'll update every hour. Now you can, there are various uh, options you can do. You can edit um, and you can have it update every hour. You can have it update every two hours you know, whatever. And there, there are some other, these are all the settings you can put in. You can put a, prix, a prefix and I can put in from Twitter right. Okay, you can put a post suffix. You can put a keyword filter, all kinds of things you can put in here. And we're going to shorten it using Bitly. It will, it will shorten any URL that goes in. Now here's where you can change the update. Now this has changed recently. It's a lot easier to use now because it automatically will uh, shorten the link through Bitly. It used to be you had to have a Bitly account and put in some information. You don't have to do that anymore. So this is all set. And now that's about all there is to it. I can now save the feed and I'm done. Now anytime I make an entry into my Twitter right blog, It'll automatically update my Twitter uh, page at Carrie Gans. And you can see I have a bunch of them going on. It's a nice way to automatically update your, uh, your Twitter. You don't have to do it, mul you don't have to go into multiple places and upload it multiple times. This now will upload it automatically. And that's it. It's called Twitter Feed at twitterfeed.com. It's free. And uh, go ahead and use it. Now, I, it's now associated, I believe, with um, Google. So you may have to uh, you know, sign in with your Google ID, but that, you'll figure that out yourself. It's a nice little program, and it's once again, uh, go ahead and use it. Don't forget, get over to Newbie Rewards right away and sign up before those free memberships are gone. 
And there's another thing going on. Now, I don't know when you'll get this video, but I am now a marketer for a very unique marketing business. Um, and I don't tell you about anything that I don't do myself. So if you're interested, there will be free webinars to give you a little idea of what this new, uh, this new business is. I'll put the link to the webinar right below me. So if you type that into your browser, go ahead and sign up for the free webinar. I promise you it will be worth your while. Um, if the name Donald Trump means anything to you, you got to get on this webinar. Now, I'll be having it periodically, so check back often. And uh, anyway, we hope to see you at the next video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you real soon. Have a great day.